Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back again. I'm Faculty Emmanuel from Capacity Beta Org, and I'm going to be an instructor for today's section. So, um, in this section, we're going to be going over how to install Splunk Enterprise on your Windows operating system. So, you've been looking for a way to install Splunk on your operating system, and you don't know how to, right? This is a video for you. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. So I'm going to open up my Chrome browser and I'm going to go to the Splunk official website. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. So Splunk.com And um, once you're here, go ahead and create a free trial account. If you don't have an account, maybe you're new to this, you don't have a Splunk account, Go ahead and create a free trial account and if you have an account go ahead and log in log into your account and then once you're logged in go ahead and hover on this products tab and um, click on free trials and downloads now you get to this page where we have the splunk enterprise right and we have the download free 60-day trial so let's click on that and it brings us to this page. So currently, this video is uh, made for Windows operating system. Uh, in the nearest future, we'll be doing for the Mac OS and uh, probably Linux operating system. So um, I'm using a 64 bit operating system. So go ahead and check yours and um, go ahead and download this. So I hit on the download button. And probably going to start now. So my download started, I'm going to pause this, I already have this downloaded and I'm going to go to my downloads folder to see that. So I have this already downloaded and I'm going to right click and then I'll click on open to run this. And I got into this page, so we need to check this box to um, accept the license agreement. If not, we can't get to the next stage. So I click on this and I'm able to get to the next stage, click on that. And we've gotten to the page where the access to input uh, credential account that's a uh, username and password. So you can definitely choose a username and password, whichever you want. But I recommend the, uh, we uh, recommend we use uh, username as admin and password as password all in lowercase so i'm going to type uh i'm going to type in admin and then password as password and i'm going to confirm password yeah so once you're done filling this stuff uh make sure you remember what you feel here if you're going to be using a different one and i'm going to click next and create shock.es install and this is going to start installing right so um, it's going to require permission from your windows right admin permission i'm going to click yes and the installation has started right so i'm going to pause this recording once it's done installing i'll start up the recording and um we'll go ahead and uh, pause and wait for you guys so right so um it just finished installing and um i guess you should see this page when yours is done so uh make sure you take the launch browser with splunk enterprise so it can just launch it right now i'm going to go ahead and click finish and it's going to launch my Splunk um, enterprise right so um I'm going to input the password admin, right? Um, username admin and password as password, uh, just as I filled that in. So, username admin and then password should be password. So, I click on sign in. Right. So they asked me to check your passwords. I uh, don't need that close. And uh, they might prompt you to save the password. You can save it for easy access. So, hula la, we are in our Splunk 
um, dashboard, right? So um, let's go ahead and go to our search and reporting app and let's run our search to be sure that our Splunk is working, right? So click on this. I'm going to run a search of index uh, equal to underscore internal. And I'm going to run for the last 60 minutes and then run. So I'm having 2,143 events, right? Uh, here. So that's working right. So that's the end of today's section. Um, if you have any questions, drop that in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the bell notification icon to get notified when we drop a new video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.